Hi, my name's John. Welcome to episode 10 in a series of short videos all about the metal turning lathe. In this episode of this section, I want to discuss and demonstrate the use of tops and dies in the lathe. You might wonder why you'd want to use a top or a die on a lathe that's capable of screw cutting threads. Quite often, especially in standard sizes, it's quicker and easier to use a top. Tops come in various types and sizes, big ones and little ones, that's 3mm and that's inch BSP. The basic top types are what they call a hand top, that's a top designed to be turned by hand. And a machine top, like that one there, which is designed to be powered in on a machine. This type of top you need to back off every turn or so to break and clear the swarf. These tops here, you just wind them straight in and the swarf comes out, as we'll demonstrate later. On the back of the tops, this one's got a little centre. That one's got nothing, but it has got a machined area. And that one there is the same with the machined area. So you'd use an internal centre on there to hold that nice and square. I'm sure I'll all become blatantly obvious as we do a little bit of tapping in the lathe. Dies also come in various shapes and sizes. That one there is probably the most common type, that's a split die. Metric thread. And on this one here you have a split there. And those two D-dents here have screws going into them and you can squeeze the die closed to tighten up the thread. That's an adjustable die. That's what they call a die nut. That's used mainly for cleaning threads up. That's a button die, a real good quality one. That will coat a straightforward 8mm standard thread. The side with the right on has got a little bit of a lead on, a little bit of a taper. That's where you start normally. And that's a finishing side there. So you can in fact turn it round and get threads on all your to a shoulder. This is another type of split die. It's actually a snap on one. These are used more, more in motor trade. Once again it's adjustable there, but you can fit, fit that into a socket. I think it's a 15-16 socket so you can repair studs on manifolds. So they are basic types of dies. I've got a piece of brass bar in the lathe. I need to put some eight mil threads in the end of it. First thing you need to do is square it up. Just machine the end nice and square. Then we'll centre drill it. Then we need to put a, a drill in that's the right size to take the thread. Standard M8 by 125 uses a 6.8mm drill. That's a correct size hole to take that 8mm top. You could simply mount that into a chuck on the tailstock, that does work. You could use a centre in there just to keep it nice and square. The idea is to make sure when you do the threading that the top goes into there straight, not pissed at an angle like that, but want nice clean straight threads. One method that works is to use the little centre in the back of the top and simply bring a lathe centre into there and that will hold the top nice and straight to the job. You need some method of turning it, for that you can use a top wrench, that sort of thing. Or you could even use a spanner, just on the two flats, like that. So that's going to hold it nice and square. 
I can put the lathe in the back gear so the truck won't turn. So holding a little bit of pressure on with the tail sock hand wheel, I can simply do that and that will cut the thread. Alternatively, you could use a, a spring-loaded follower. That's a homemade one. See, it's got a spring in there and that will keep a constant spring pressure onto the tap. There's a bolt one there, you can see it works in exactly the same way. Actually, something, something goes into a, into a chuck on the tailstock. You can see it's spring loaded. So that means you've got two hands free now. You can wind that in. And the little spring loaded follower keeps up with the movement of the top. So much for the top that it's got a centre in the end. This top hasn't got a centre in, but it's got a machine face which we can use into a convex centre like or a hollow centre. So once again, we'll use a tail stock like that. And either a top wrench handle or a spanner on there to do the driving. Alternatively, We can use the, we can turn the chuck and keep moving in like that and that will cut the thread just the same. So those threads will be the right size because I've used the right size tap and drill and they're going to be in line with the piece because I've set it all up and the lathe can't be anything else. This thing will go up a little bit, that's a 12mm tap and I'll do a little bit of power tapping. Once again that's a machine tap designed to be driven in under power. That hasn't got a centre in but yet again it's got a machine piece so you can put an external centre on there or a female centre. What about a hexi steel bar here of unknown quality? We'll use that. I'm still using that right hand knife tool that we're made in one of the first videos. This is not next material it's horrible. So we'll square the end of the bar up just the same. We'll drill it. We are trying to do is I try and keep the top and drill with a tap. What you could do simply put the top into that drill chuck and use that 
but you can find that the top will definitely slip in there. So what I use is an AR collar chuck in the tail sock for wheels and taps. This tap is going to go straight in there and hopefully you'll see what I mean about this type of tap clear on its swap by itself reasonably slow speed ready to see how the swarf has been cleared reverse the lathe right so now we've got a nice sharp 12mm thread that's parallel to the ball I hope you found that interesting I hope you managed to pick something up if there's anything you want us to cover, all you've got to do is send us an email, and that's me. Email address up there. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching.